Hello there guys, Feng here, and welcome back to Cata DDA. Yep, uh, I did promise I was going to start uh, recording some more content on this, and that's exactly what I'm going to do today. Uh, a few things I do want to uh, quickly touch upon now before we uh, crack on with it. Firstly, I haven't played Cata DDA for just over a month now. It was just before Christmas, I think. Uh, not just before, about a couple of weeks before Christmas when I last had a proper crack at Cata. And there was a few new options that we'll go through in a bit, but um, since then I have not touched it. I have not touched it at all. So basically, this uh, series, assuming my character survives that long, is basically just going to remind myself how to play and look at some of the new other, other nice stuff that the uh, that the devs have um, actually done to the game, which I'm looking forward to. Apparently, there's been a lot of good stuff. A lot of good stuff. Uh, secondly, um, for those of you that aren't already aware, I've been suffering some health problems recently. Um, for the most part, it's getting better, but um, the doctor has prescribed me some new um, stronger painkillers, and that's knocking me about a bit because they're pretty, uh, they're pretty strong, and it's making me extremely sleepy and <laughs> basically affecting my judgment quite a bit. So you know, please bear in mind if I do this is something newbish, because I'm bound to. It's as simple as that. Okay then, guys. So we are in. I think the version is uh, four thousand one hundred ninety-one. Am I right? Uh, yeah, four thousand one hundred ninety-one. Thought I was right. Excellent. So we'll have a quick look at the uh, new options. First thing I noticed was the default character name. So you can put a name in, and it will default to that name when you make a new character. Really cool. Really cool. Um, I was trying to look what else. Oh, else new there is. Do, 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 do. There is also uh, there's a new debug option, as you can see. Uh, we've got skill training speed. This is actually really cool. So, if you were to if you were to put this on two, for example, you'd actually double the amount of a skill that you gain from you know learning skills. So basically, it takes half as long to level up. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. We're gonna keep that at one now. Uh, this time around, we're actually going to use skill rust. We're going to use intelligence capped. Uh, I've been trying to, well, before I stopped playing, I actually did try and play with intelligence capped. And I think it's a lot more balanced than just having nothing at all or just having no caps on whatsoever. So we're going to uh, we're gonna stick with that. And we've got experimental 3D field of vision. Uh, that's to do with the Z levels. I'm not sure if they're actually fully implemented in yet, but judging by the fact that it's very bugged at the moment, I would assume not. So we're not going to uh, use that at all at the moment. We also have um, the world defaults. There's actually quite a few new ones. We've got s size of cities and city space. Well, not size of cities. We know that one's there before, but city spacing. Uh, city spacing is pretty cool. So basically. The lower this number, the more close the cities are together. So what I've done is I've basically lowered the default, which was at 4 to 2. So basically they're going to be twice as close as they normally am. And I've made the city size 8, which is double the amount the size of default. So basically we're going to make it a more city-focused uh, kind of world. So yeah, looking forward to that. Um, we also have Monster Evolution Scare Factor. Um, was that is default three? No, default four. Why did I? Why is that three? Then did I? Uh, I might have done that before I started recording. Oops. Uh, yeah, but I think three is fine. I think four sometimes um, stuff evolves a little bit too quickly, for my liking. So I've just knocked it down to seventy five percent rather than the hundred percent, and we'll see how that goes. I don't want to get rid of it entirely because it's a really cool mechanic of the game, for um, for late games. So. We'll keep it as it is. We've also got Eternal Season, which you can turn um, on or off. So basically, it keeps the initial season forever. Pretty cool if you really want to. Uh, if you want a really easy time in summer, or if you really want a really hard time in winter. Pretty cool. But we'll keep it as it is as well. Um, we've got static NPCs and stuff. So yeah, everything else is pretty much the same other than that. Okay, so let's start us a new game. We'll have a custom character. Uh, as you can see, the mod list has been changed slightly now. So it, you've got different, <coughs> you've 
you got different uh, different lists for what they are. So, for example, these are just the default ones. As you can see, it's got the stuff like more survival tools and generic guns and stuff like that. Um, but if we were to press tab, we can go to the blacklist ones, which basically get gets rid of certain enemies that you might not want in the game, which is pretty cool. Or uh, certain guns and stuff and fictional stuff. So yeah, if if you really want that, there's also balance as well, rebalancing mods. Uh, we are actually going to go with stats through skills because I love that mod. Simple as that. And we're even going to save this as the. Uh, Default mod. Now we're not going to use uh, more survival tools because I think that makes the game a tad bit too easy. So we're going to stick with that. Uh, we've got the world defaults already. Uh, it's going to be called O'Neill's. Uh, we can actually pick an another random name for that. Let's actually go ahead and do that. Calcium. Why not? <laughs> Why not? Let's go for calcium. Okay. So character creation. I know the. Uh, I know this has been changed around a little bit. N used to have the stats um, where the profession is now, but that's been uh, that's been changed to uh, the middle now. So that's fine. So what do we actually want? Well, uh, maybe we should go mist. So basically, it gives you all the professions. It doesn't give any extra points or anything like that. But it gets us stuck in a city. So we've got a basic play from here. And I want to spawn the house. You know, fairly standard. So I think we can do that. Yeah, I think the starting location is up default and house anyway. So that's fine. Okay, profession. I noticed there's quite a few new professions. I'm not going to go through all of them. But one of the ones I was really interested in was one of the, um, the officer ones. One of the officer uh, profession. Which one was it? Was it that one? Um, it might have been. No, it's not. Uh, police sniper. Um, no. Actually, that might have been as well. I don't know. But I'm trying to find one. I'm trying to find the one I was um, really interested in. And I bet I'm going to find it now. That's a bionic officer. It's actually not that bad. Comes with a uh, alloy plate and torso log uh, legs and arms, which is pretty cool. And a targeting system, so it's easy to um, to deranged. Hmm, I can't remember which one it was. Mate. Was it National Guard? No, that's the gold bag one, isn't it? Uh, police detective. You know what? I don't know now. <laughs> I actually, I actually can't bloody remember. Um. Ooh, hello. That one looks interesting. That one automatically starts off with uh, parkour experts and four dodging. Four dodging is pretty, uh, pretty high. The, it don't really get no weapons or anything like that. You know what? I think that's actually not a bad one to start off with. So we'll go with that. That's going to cost us three points. Uh, now we've got our traits. So, what should we have for traits? I think we're going to go with what we normally do. Ish. But obviously I'm not going to go for... Um, I can't think of the name now. I'm being stupid. Yeah, we're not gonna go for forgetful because obviously we want to try and um, want to try and keep our skills high with the um, the thingy, the thingy. Yes, the thingy. Um, let's go poiving. What else have we got? Oh my god, I nearly spent ten minutes in bloody character creation again. <laughs> I do this every time. I do apologise, but it's nice to see what our pick is, isn't it? Um, maybe we should go with uh, flimsy. It's a decent amount of points. Or maybe we require more food than most people. Mm. I'm actually kind of um, going towards fast metabolism. We've only got two points left anyway. Let's go for that. That's probably going to bite us in the arse. Actually, no, let's not take that. In fact, I can probably just leave that as it is. And take no more. And then we'll take a few... Um, take a few positive traits. What should we take? Um, well, he's got, no, uh, he's got no weapon to start off with. My character hasn't. So we'll start off with quick. We've already got parkour expert. For some reason, we can pick it again. Not entirely sure why we can do that, but... That's life. Uh, I'll go with night vision. Too useful. Um, do, 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 do. I'm really tempted to get that again. 
Still one of my favourite traits. Yeah, let's go for that. Uh, we've got six points left. Do I really want to... Fast learning might actually be a decent one as well for this. Or um, good memory. The skills will evolve slightly slower than usual. I think we might take that one, you know. Possibly. Yeah, let's go for that. We'll take that. That's going to give us three points left. Now, it's not going to give us a lot of points to get skills, is it? Mm. Right, let's go for survival, tailoring, and... Um, actually, we, we could go with six dodge in here. That's a huge amount of dodge for a starting character. Oh, it actually shows you what you what uh, recipes you can learn from. Am I right? Wow, that's a really cool feature. How sweet is that? That's actually really cool. I like that. Although that one's not actually showing me much. <laughs> Nor that one. Mechanics is going to have a shitload, isn't it? That's pretty damn cool. I like that. I like that a lot. Alright. I haven't marksmanship. Marksmanship's not going to show me which is it. Alright. Maybe we should just keep with that then for the time being. I mean, yeah, we're going to have to get a... Maybe I don't need tailing as much. Maybe we should give something a bit more... What about we go with fabrication instead? Nah, we'll go back. Nah, sorry, we'll go with Taylor in. That's fine. Alright, so we got my character. There's all my stuff. And we're going to spawn in the house. And now it's 12 minutes in already. Fantastic. So I do apologise for not being able to uh, carry on with the ranged uh, man in this series. But, you know, as you probably already know, I had to reboot the computer because of <laughs> stuff not going over to my SSD properly and basically complete completely fucking up my operating system so yeah kind of an unforeseen thing unfortunately oh fucking hell that's a huge ass city now the interesting thing is that there's actually a gun store right there and a tea shop oh tea shop shop <laughs> um okay that's new <laughs> a tea shop shop <laughs> um that must be one of the variants of the coffee shop i'm guessing possibly yeah, it must be, yeah, it looks like it. That's pretty cool, though. Don't really see that much uh, variance in some of the... Some of the buildings no more, so that's really nice. Gun store, gun store. There's a lot of gun stores. I think we'll be alright with uh, d doing some ranged here, but they are quite far away. Plus, you got to bear in mind as well, I'm in no shape to do any, um, any combat, really, yet. We've got two labs at the bottom. We have. Do we have any grocery stores close by? We do. We have one here. We've also got an electronic store there. Hmm. So the idea is we're going to try and. It's probably going to be this house actually that we'll um, call home for now. Uh, I've got to get used to doing stuff again. I really have. So we've got that. Uh, we've got that. Ooh, I just noticed. That's pretty cool. It actually gives you a lot more of a. Uh, even tells you the category as well. Lovely. A lot more info. There's a mo there's moon there. That must be moonlight, I'm guessing. If it's uh, night time. It tells you it's very dark here. That's, ob that's, pre that's pretty obvious, really. Because the curtains are closed. And we want to keep them that way for now. Uh, cardboard box of flower. What the hell is that? What the fuck was that? Pemmican. What the hell is that? I've never heard of those before. Concentrate a mixture of fat and protein using the nutri nutritious high energy food. Composed of meat, tallow and edible plants. It provides excellent nutrition in East Cabby form. That's pretty damn cool. Alright, looks like we're going to be okay with food for the time being. So that's good. Um, we haven't got much fluid though. Ooh, forest honey. Wow. Lovely, lovely. Um... It is on, isn't it? My. Am I being stupid? I am being stupid. It is already active. That's fine. Alright, this is a huge area. Alright. Belgian nail. 
Time Magazine, that's just for fun, so I'm not really bothered about that. Oh, Bon Appetit isn't now. And no self-esteem for dummies. Brilliant. So at least we've got a few readable materials for now. Uh, the one thing we don't have is one of the consoles, so that we can actually see stuff. Then again, if I remember last, last time, um, the console lighting is a lot less, so that you actually do need more light to actually do anything like crafting or reading. Or it took longer, if I, yeah, that was it, it took longer to do any of those actions. So that makes more sense. Got a blanket, a pillow, ooh, what was that then? I'm moving past the bed slow, that's fine. Ooh, there's a safe in here. Now that's interesting. And a display rack. Okay, we'll keep all these open, I think, for the most part, so we can see what we're doing. Was there anything there? Nope. Okay. So I suppose we're going to call this particular place home for the time being. Right, let's see what we need first. So those are... Okay, we're fairly cold. Our mouth is the coldest. We don't have any scarfs, I assume. Uh, no, we've got to run a pack, though. Wait a sec. Um, torso encumbrance is 8. Arms is 5. Legs is 7. Okie uh, I'm just thinking where I should put plot my stuff. Um, I think it'll be fine, won't it? Yeah, I think it'll be fine. So let's go ahead and mark us a zone. So we'll have a zone from here to uh, about here. Zone name, base, uh, no auto pickup. Yes, that's the one. Enable it. There we go. And save as it changes. And we'll drop some stuff off here. Now we could probably crack on with some. Um, sewing as soon as possible and we've got plenty of food you know I might even have a nibble of that canned chicken just to keep me full oh, that was a bit of a waste but that's life ain't it uh, maybe it should maybe it should be down here instead yeah fuck it I'll do it down here since I'm so used to um, I'm, I'm used to putting food there crap there <laughs> <laughs> um, my meds there and books there as well in that same part. I'm just so used to having it. I've got I've, I've got a routine and I, I like to keep to it. <laughs> but we'll take all these out and we'll uh, plonk them there. Especially that leather. That leather is actually a really nice find. Uh, but we've got nothing to cut it with yet. So we have to go outside and try and find something to smash. Um, some stuff with. I don't really want to do that though, so at the moment we're in a bit of a pickle. Yeah. We don't have no weapons or anything like that. We're not very well armoured. So really, it's just a case of. Well, we need to try and find the way out first. Here it is. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to. Uh oh. That's not good. They must have heard me. Yeah, they must have heard me. Bollocks. What we'll do is we'll peek. Uh, I've got a peek, isn't it? Is it P? No. Uh, no, it's not. It's actually yeah, it's that. That's what I'm after. Oh boy, what the fuck is that? Shady zombie. What the fuck's a shady zombie? An uncanny shadow envelops this creature as if light itself were too repulsed to touch it. It's unusual. I've never come across that zombie before. It must be uh, one of the new ones. There's a lot of them. Um, that's too many zombies for me to handle. <laughs> uh, with no melee whatsoever. Especially when there's a zombie dog right there. The noise has attracted them as well. So that's not good, is it? Right, we need to... While they're attracted to that, I'm going to go ahead and... Um, go out the back. Oh, shit. Assuming there is a back door. Really? There's no back door? Ha! <laughs> That's going to make things a bit more uh, complicated, isn't it? Well, we're going to have to use the wind then, aren't we? I suppose I can just... If I close this and close that... That'll do. We'll go out this window. Well, we'll try and go out this window, I should say. After we've peeked out of it first, though, of course. So, it looks like there's no zombies out. Oh, there is a few. There's some over here. And they might not be able to see me, though. As far as I can tell. So as long as we uh, don't want to tear them down, just open the curtain. 
Open the window. Okay, now we want to be careful. <laughs> Alright. Yes, I know there's child zombies and stuff everywhere, that's fine. There's a lot of Zeds. A lot of Zeds. It's the first thing I really wanted to do. Was. Is that stuff up there as well? This is not a good start, by the way. <laughs> There's too much stuff around. Um, maybe it might be wise just to jog out this particular area and uh, maybe get to one of these areas instead where there's going to be less Zeds around. I'm thinking that might be a better idea for now. Yeah, I think that's what we'll do. So if I pick up stuff that I can carry, so we'll take those up. Don't really need the inhaler. Yeah, we'll take all the food. Um, we don't really need the spoon and tin can. That was a fine. I can leave those there. Let's let's go ahead and do that. I'm gonna um, I'm just gonna remove this. Yeah, we'll set the changes. Yeah, and we'll leg it. Uh, which way should we go? Should we go north or south? Let's try and go south. Or maybe not. No, I know there's, I know there's a tough zombie there. So we'll grab a rock. Should be able to avoid it. I'm more concerned about what's over here. I know there was a dog. A zombie dog somewhere. As long as there's not a, do a zombie dog. Or anything fast, I should be okay. So we'll go around here. There's a crawling zombie. Let's peek around this corner. I'm so glad I did that now because there's a fucking shocker boot. Oh, it's a shocker boot, it's a zombie technician. Um, do -do 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 -do. Saying that though, it does look like, doesn't really look like there's anything else. There's a lot of shady zeds. A lot of shady zeds. But there's nothing bad that I can't avoid yet. So we'll carry on going this way for now. Uh, do, 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 do. I'm just keeping an eye on what we're looking at. I'm going to quickly jog just over here so I was looking at run that zombie. There we go. Right now, this is the this is the part I want to see. There's a load of shady heads, a lot of them. Doesn't look like there's anything this way too much. Oh shoot, we need to keep running because of that. Booms around. Have, have they got quicker? Those particular zombies, or am I just a bit slower? Very difficult to tell. Okay, more zombies. Uh, the idea is to try and round them all up and then leg it. I'm not going to be able to do that, am I? Can I leg it through the middle there? Might be able to. Well, that was very close. What I'm more worried about is that zombie dog spotted. Oh shit, there's three fucking zombie dogs right there. I'm going to have to come this way. Hopefully there's no zombie dogs down here. Holy shit! That's problematic. <laughs> um, why the fuck is there so many there? No, seriously, there's nothing here. It says there's nothing here at all, so why is there a load of dogs? Chain link fence. Okay. Is that one of the new random tall things? If it is, I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like that one. Ooh, that is tempted to go in there, though. Is that what I think it is? It's an ambulance, though. I thought it was a SWAT car. That would have been extremely tempting. Now, there is a doggy there, so we need to be a bit cautious. But I think we should get away with it. <clears throat> a lot of Zeds. A lot of Zeds. There's a turret somewhere. Where's this turret? No, seriously, where's this turret? Oh, it's there. 
Aha! I could possibly use that to my advantage, actually. Oh, okay, that makes sense. So it's actually... Right. It's a new house. I've never seen a house with a uh, chain fence like that before. That's pretty interesting. See, I'm, I'm you know, doing stuff all the time. <laughs> so what we'll do is we'll come round this way. And I'm hoping that there's nothing bad out this way. Otherwise, we're fucked, basically. Oh, yes. And the doggies have spotted me. That's not good. Okay, there's a tough zombie right there. See, this is actually where we're going to go, but the problem is I'm already leading the Zeds to there, so... I have got parkour, so we could... Go there, like that. There we go. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Oh, this is really laggy, and there's also a fellow runner... There. I hope he hasn't seen me, otherwise we're going to have problems. And there's also them turrets. Yeah, this is not a good sign because, uh, as you can see, they have spotted me, and I'm hoping I'm not in turret range. And it's very difficult to tell if I do get in turret range. Okay, let's leg it. Okay, I think I've just missed the turret range, which is good. And there's a boomer right there trying to break through. GG. Ooh, those are guns in there, aren't they? There's a. Point two two there. There's a Glock on nineteen there. Yeah, we need to mark this one on the map. Uh, oops, not explored. Sorry, I've been a noob. Um, let's colour it. What should I colour it actually? Uh, let's colour it red. No, not red. Let's colour it light green. Now light green is the house, isn't it? Um, let's do magenta then. Yeah, let's do magenta. So magenta, and then we want do 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 oh, guns. And oh shit, what am I doing? What am I doing? Sorry guys, I it, it, I've I've got to get back into it. I'm sorry. So I'm gonna put alpha loot. Then we'll put M for magenta, and then we'll put guns. I think that's right, isn't it? Yeah, that's right. As I said, it's been a while since I've played, so bear with me while I get back to grips with it. There's a fuck. Oh, but there is a minefield there. That's intriguing. So that house is a complete no-no at the moment. Maybe we should just go up north and go into this house instead. It's a bit far away from most of the others. I think that would be a better idea for now. But this crowd is going to be problematic, so I'm going to have to hopefully punch him to death. So that minefield is right there. But I think we should be able to get away with just going this way for now. Ooh, can I butcher it? I'll butcher yeah. I don't have a sharp item to butcher with. God damn it. Alright. Well, as you can see, the good news is there's not many zombies now, and I think we might have lost them. So that's good. I can't see any zombies, except for that boomer zombie, which I caught, up, which caught up to me earlier on. But that's easy to deal with. Um, what I need to be careful of is that that mansion. There's also a few nasty things there as well, although I don't think they've seen me anyway. So that's good. Oh, there is a moose. There's a moose. Loose about this moose. Where's the moose? Where's is the moose? I have no idea. Oh, it's there. It's alright. It hasn't seen me. So there is a bear. Just north of here, though. It's all the way up here. Uh, we should be able to avoid him by coming this way a little bit. Should be able to avoid him. Yeah, easily. That moose is still safe. There we go. That's fine. Uh, what's that there? It's a small boulder. Oh, huh. cool. Can you, like, if I equip that, can I smash? It takes you several seconds to weld your rock. That's pretty cool. So I'm making noise, but it's not doing anything by the look of it. <laughs> okay, that's cool. I wonder if you can pick it with the uh, pickaxe you can build. 
That would be cool. So we're just going to pick up a few rocks. As you do. Because they're used for quite a lot of things. <coughs> and what we're going to have to do is we have to... Um, is that a large boulder then, I'm guessing? That's a medium boulder. Ah! <laughs> <clears throat> Hang on a sec. Can I actually do anything with the construction of that? Hang on. Deconstruct furniture. There's a lot of stuff here. It does seem like there's a lot of new stuff here. But there's nothing about taking apart a boulder. Or anything like that. There's still. Yeah, there's nothing like that. Alright. <clears throat> no problem. Uh, yeah, we're going to go off this area, then I think. Hopefully, there's no Zeds around there. And if there is, hopefully, there's only one or two. There's a lot of boulders around. Okay, so. So far, so good. There's literally a giant fly. Just hoping there's nothing around here. Let's just do a quick peek. Quick peek. There's absolute subtle. That's fantastic. Right, there's, there is a few things here by the look of it. There's uh, actually Zeds that could probably easily be taken out as long as I get them. Oh, take one one by one. So let's go ahead and do that. Seems like a good idea. I mean, there's that um, fat one there. Hopefully, I can get his attention. There we go. Oh, I alerted the other one as well. I'm actually going to go around at this side then and try to deal with on this side instead. There we go. I don't want to make too much noise. Um, what about if we um, take off the rock? We'll just use hand to hand, or at least try to use hand to hand for now. Oh, there's a necromancer somewhere. That's not good. Uh, he's all the way over there, and there is a zombie soldier. Is that zombie or is that? Yeah, it's a zombie soldier. That's interesting. Uh, we should be okay for the time being, though, as long as the zombies will. There we go. Literally one hit for now. One, two. Did no damage to that particular zombie. Yeah, the fat zeds are going to be a problem. I think I might have to. Um, I know what I'm going to do. I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to get. I'm going to equip a rock. I'm going to very quickly circle round them. I'm going to go ahead and smash this. Pick up the. Two by, take off the rock. Pick up the two by four. That's going to be our weapon for now. Should do a decent amount of damage for the time being. There we go. <clears throat> Circle around here. Come on. Come on. You know you want to. No, you want. You know you want to go into the bush. Thank you. I actually did kind of uh, finger that then. Actually, we might be alright. Dodge. We have got quite a lot of dodge though, so we might just be able to brute force this. As you can see, yeah. We dodged quite a lot, quite that, quite a bit actually. Let's took it to six. We don't have a shot like which we keep forgetting that. And um, we have to pull them then, aren't we? Let's uh, pull them. There we go. Uh, do they have anything nice? They've got some boots. I can't really wear them just yet, so we need to go in this house. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. I'm just trying to figure out how to go in this house. I don't really want to smash it in, but it looks like I might have to, unless this side door's open. No. Side door is not open. That's not good. Apparently there should be a way in for the front, but it doesn't look like that's the case. Alright, a few enemies up top, but I don't think they see me, so I'm not too fussed. What I'm more concerned about is that necromancer. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to take out a window here, aren't I? Uh, let's take out one. Why is that closed, that one there? That's interesting. There we go, we'll break that window. We'll take that long string because... Uh, oh, did that long string not weigh anything? Have they changed the way that works? Oh yeah. Yeah, long string used to take up one volume at one point. Looks like it now takes zero. Cool. 
That's really cool. That's uh, that's toilet water. We don't want that. We've got another lung string there. Fantastic. Got a towel. Uh, leather pants and suit. Um, here might be a decent place to actually kip. So what we need to do now is go towards the windows and close the curtains. Make sure no Zeds can see inside while we're living here. Uh, looks like there's actually quite a lot of um, stuff in here as well. Cooking on a budget. Uh, fried fish. Oh, look at that now. Gorgeous. Um, flashlights and other stuff. Let's go ahead and close this one. There we go. Uh, we'll keep ours open, I think, for the time being, so that we can actually see. I'm pressing the wrong button here. Derp. Pair of reading glasses. And yeah, we'll collect everything else when we uh, when we can. Got sale and solution there. Yeah, let's close that. Right. So yeah, we naturally want to actually keep this one closed, like so. And that closed. There we go. So now we have um, somewhere else now. So that's great. Fantastic. Let's go ahead and do, I can I can probably reinforce this eventually as well. So that's what we'll probably end up doing. Base. No auto pickup. Enable. Save changes. Fantastic. Uh, we're going to have to put some other stuff. I think what I'll do is I'll actually put the... Um, does that have a set? That can hold 8,000. And the floor can hold 4,000. That's interesting. They've actually... Um, am I right in that? Must be. Yeah. So, drawers and stuff actually can hold more now than the floor. Which is good. That's kind of how it should be, I guess. <laughs> so, yeah. Brilliant. So what we'll do is we'll put clothes and stuff in there, string, you know, all that good stuff, and skinny tie. As long as I can still craft with my nails, I'm not interested sure if you can or not. I can't remember because I'm dumb like that. But I'm sure you can. So let's go ahead and plump those there, like so. Uh, we'll quickly give Bon Appetit a quick skim. And we'll give Self-Esteem a quick skim as well. And we'll plonk those there, like so. And then we've got our food here. Lots and lots of food. Lots and lots and lots of food. Uh, and we've got meds there as well, so that's good. <coughs> okay. Uh, there's no blankets in this bedroom. That's the only problem. So I'm a bit concerned about that. But we should be okay. Within the desk. Uh, how much does the desk carry actually? Desk carries the same by the look of it. Do, 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 do. <clears throat> right, we've got a matchbook. We've got some mustard and glass. Yeah, we'll take the glass. Uh, glass as well, again. Yeah, butter knife. We'll take basically anything we can use. Marbles, spray can, heavy stick, glass plate. Oops. I'm being derpy at the moment. There we go. Loners. All that. Ooh. Too much. Okay. So we've got lots more food, which is good. Uh, we don't have an awful lot of water though, so we need to uh, bear that in mind. Let's just plant that in there instead, like that. I'll probably make the um, make this section here where I normally put the clothes into the thingy section instead, the uh, weapon section. So we'll do that now. Stick the marbles in there, stick the heavy stick and all that good stuff in there. Uh, the statement we can carry, uh, actually we might be able to dis uh, dismantle that and make it something a bit more useful. Yeah, we've got a spike there. We can make it into a makeshift knife, which I think does more damage than a butcher knife anyway. So we need to, dis we need to disassemble um that so we've got six small strings I look I actually that's really cool they've actually got them got the items together now that's really good I uh, I certainly approve of that <laughs> all right so we're gonna make sure we've got plenty of thread plenty of small string uh, one long string left there we go and then we should at least be able to make a makeshift knife or even a makeshift uh, hammer 
Which will be better? Stone knife is 2 to 5 to 76. This one is 2 to 10 to 82. So this one's obviously the better one. Uh, needs 100 threads. So let's go ahead and use the thread. And there we go. And then we finally got a cutting knife, which is something we desperately needed. Um, we can't make a makeshift thingy yet. Yes, a thingy. Um, we can't make we can't make a lockpick yet. Hmm, we need metal. We need some metal. Uh, we could probably do. We could probably go ahead and make the stone hammer. We are gonna need a screwdriver though as well. So, don't know if that's actually gonna be worthwhile investing just yet. We'll leave it as it is. A dark craftable impossible. Oh, okay. So some stuff can be crafted while while it's dark. Like that one, rolling paper can be crafted while it's dark, but it's hard. So maybe it takes longer, or there's a chance of it not doing. That's actually pretty cool. A pair of sock mitts is easy, because as you, uh, you know, you can just put on a pair of socks off your hands. That's really damn cool. I like that. Makeshift knapsack. Cargo pants and long string. Huh. Okay. Certainly new stuff. And then one is uh yeah the uh, tailings at two. But we've got no we've got no stuff for that yet, so we need to uh, sort that out. Really wished there was a screwdriver of some sort that would make life so much easier. But there's not, so we can't really complain. We've got some more butching off there. I think we can break down the spike. I'm fairly sure we can. There was another pair of cargo pants in there. Emergency auction pack of gummy vitamins and aspirin. Brilliant. Oh, here we go. Some thread. We've got some charcoal, which takes up too much room. We've got a pair of scissors. We'll take a pair of scissors. We might be able to um, break that down into. I'm going to try that now, actually. I'm going to break down the pair of scissors. And see if that can't be dissembled. God damn it. Alright, no problem. We'll uh, plonk them there along with. No, that's it. And we've got a pillow there and thread. <coughs> got some ammonia for there. Uh, we've got food and reading glasses. Okay. What was that there? Let's tell. I'll plunk that in there as well, why not? <coughs> there we go. Okay, can I make that runner pack fit? Not 100% sure. Well, we'll take the charcoal, we'll take the dust mask, we'll take the glass bottle of hydrogen peroxide, because why not? As well as the 20 million other pairs of scissors and a mop. Again, because why not? Or we'll take the cargo pants, boxer shorts, jean jackets. Shorts, the next top. Basically, all stuff that we can use to uh, cut up and make into rags <coughs> and whatnot. Obviously, I'm not going to make the cog up into rags. Seems a bit silly to do that. Hydrogen peroxide and Z charcoal. So, really, what I want to do is try and get back down to this house and get the guns. I know where they are, it's easy to get to and I haven't got to worry about uh, picking any locks or anything like that, I can just break in and get it. Should be fairly simple. Uh, what else was that? Oh yeah, jean, jean jacket and boxer shorts. Not really much else by the look of it and it's already halfway through the day so I need to re up and start doing stuff. So the first thing we're going to try and do is not save and quit. Oh my god, is that the time already? 45 minutes in. Jesus Christ. Um, I'm going to stick a cut in here. And I'll be back soon. <laughs> 